how can you make the transition going from working your current nine to five job, whatever that may be, to working full time as an online course creator for yourself? That scenario is a goal that so many people would like to achieve, but the problem that they face is that they don't know what steps to take in order to get there. So in this video, that is exactly what I want to discuss and break down for you in order to help you make the transition from your current nine to five job to becoming a successful full-time course creator. Now for anybody who is new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ryan Ford and I teach online coaches and course creators how to scale their sales while working less. And just before we dive into the content for this video, I would like to offer you the chance to download my digital creator startup guide. This is a completely free guide that is essentially a roadmap showing you how to take the knowledge that you have in your head, package it all together, and then finally sell that finished product, which would be an online course, or it could be a coaching program, or even a membership site, and then sell it successfully to your ideal target audience. This would be a very useful guide to have if you already are a course creator, or even if you haven't started yet, but you are attracted or you're drawn to the idea of creating and selling your own digital product then this is absolutely perfect for you and it's completely free so it really is a no-brainer the link for that should be somewhere on your screen right now and also below this video in the description box now that being said let's talk about how you can make the transition from working your current nine to five job to becoming a full-time course creator the first thing that you must start doing is building yourself an audience there is a quote that i read or i heard somewhere many years ago and it stuck with me but it's also very true Without an audience, nothing is possible, but with an audience, anything is possible. If you build up an audience of people who know who you are, they like your content, and most importantly, they trust you, then you really can't lose. Because those people will not only buy any of your products or services, but they will also be your best promoter, and they will sing your praises to anybody else who will listen and is interested in your particular niche or your area of expertise. So before you do anything else, you need to start building an audience. And the best way to do that is to start creating and releasing helpful, free content consistently. A prime example, exactly what I'm doing right now. I created this video in my niche or my area of expertise, which is helping people to build and sell their own digital products. And I aim to create these videos, at least currently anyway, at least three times per week, consistently. You need to do the exact same thing. Now you don't have to create videos if you're not comfortable with being on camera, although I recommend videos as they are a much more personal way to interact with your audience. But if you're not keen on making videos, then you can start a blog on your own website, creating helpful written content, covering your niche or covering your area of expertise. Now, whether you choose to make videos or write articles for your own website, you need to do this, in my opinion, at least once per week, at least. This is the very minimum. If you can do more, then that is great, but if not, you need to be creating and releasing at least one piece of new content every week consistently, in my own opinion. That is the very first step. So you need to shuffle your current routine and be able to dedicate at least a few hours per week towards creating your content and building your audience. I would say if you could find three hours per week, so that would be 30 minutes per day, six days a week, or one hour, three days per week, or just a three hour session, let's just say on a Sunday, it really doesn't matter, whatever works for you, but just find some time and start creating content, helping people and covering the topics and problems inside of your niche or your area of expertise. That is the first step that you need to take. Start creating content and building your audience. The second step, so we're on to step number two, once you start creating content and building up an audience, is to capture your audience's email address. This is very important because when somebody finds your content online, even if it's really good and they enjoy it, once they consume your content, your video or your article, whatever it may be, they will vanish again back into the wilderness. And you don't want that. You want a way to be able to contact them again in the future and bring them back to see even more of your content. So inside of all of your content that you create and release, you need to include something that is called a lead magnet. Usually it's a downloadable video or a guide or some type of quiz in exchange for their email address. Think back to the beginning of this video. I offered you my digital creator guide. One, because it's a great guide that you should definitely download if you are interested in selling your own digital products. But two is because it's a way for me to capture your email address. And once I have your email address, I can share with you more of my content, which you will definitely find helpful and useful because you would only download my guide if you are interested in that type of content specifically. So in all of your content, whether it's videos or whether it's on your blog, 
you need to include a lead magnet that your audience will find irresistible and will happily give you their email address in order to download. That is the second step in the process. And you follow this up by creating an automated email funnel or sequence, which sends out a series of emails to your new email subscriber that provides them with even more free, helpful content. And alongside this, you can also introduce, start to introduce your paid products or your services to them. Now, in order to do that, you will need to already have created a product. So your course or your program or your membership site, whatever your product or service is, it needs to be ready to go before you can do this specific step. Now, if you already have a product ready to go, then you can set up what I've already spoken about in this video. So that's creating helpful free content consistently, at least once per week including your lead magnet inside of that content, and then having an email sequence in place that further educates your subscribers and introduces your paid products or services to them. Once that's all in place and ready to go, your sole focus should be creating and releasing more free, helpful content consistently. So if that's once per day, fantastic. If it's three times per week, that's great. If it's once per week, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure it's at least once per week and that is all you need to focus on, nothing else, just consistent, helpful, free content. And if you haven't built your product yet, that's okay. You still need to follow exactly what I've spoken about so far, except your email sequence won't be introducing any product or service just yet, obviously, because it hasn't been built by you yet. So what you can do in this situation is start having conversations with your audience and find out what their biggest pain points and problems are that they need the most help with. And once you have this information, you can then start to build a product that is tailored to their exact needs. So that when it comes time to launching your product or service, you already have a list of targeted leads who already know you, they already like you, and they already trust you because you've spent your time doing nothing but delivering helpful free content to them consistently and they will be more than happy now to buy your product once it is ready to sell and if you noticed how whether you already have a finished product or not the majority of your focus should be on building a loyal audience up with free and consistent content this is the most important part of the entire process because if you do nothing but give out free incredible content which contains nothing but value and truly helps your audience if they ever reach a point where they would like to buy a product or service from somebody the chances of that somebody being you skyrocket in comparison to other people who just clog up their feed with ads or useless content that does nothing other than pitch their products and tell people how incredible they are and how incredible their products are. Don't be one of those people. Always give first to your audience before you ever ask for anything in return from your audience. And in return, the audience that you build, they will be more than happy to buy your product when the time is right for them because already you have done nothing but deliver incredible value to them time and time again consistently without ever asking for anything in return. And this is the main reason why I love this type of business because now working around your current nine to five, the formula is quite simple. It's boring, but this is why so many people fail because they want the Lamborghini and they want the secret ad strategy or the formula that will make them a millionaire in a week. And you know, you're chasing unicorns if that is you. If you follow exactly what I've spoken about in this video, working around whatever your current job is, you need to find and dedicate time to creating the content consistently. And what you will find is that over time, as you create more content, you'll be discovered by more people, you'll collect more email subscribers, you'll build up an audience, which creates a snowball effect that translates into buyers of your paid product or your paid service. That, as boring as it sounds, is how to make the transition from your current nine to five job to becoming a full-time online course creator. And the more content that you create, the more fuel you will add to the fire, which grows bigger and bigger over time. And at some point, you will reach a stage where you are making the same money from sales of your course or your program as you are from your job salary. And that is when you can pack your job in, if you so wish to, and put even more of your time now into creating even more content, which then fuels the fire into a six or even a seven figure per year business, just selling courses or coaching programs. It takes time, it takes consistency, it takes dedication, and the most boring part of it is just repetition. Now again, if you would like a complete guide to break down all of the steps that you need to take in order to do this, link is on the screen for you now for my free digital creator startup guide. Download it, follow each step, and you will be well on your way to becoming a successful full-time online course creator. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you again soon in another one. Until next time, take care.